Welcome to another video. This is episode two of Fungi Facts. This one is all about the Scarlentina Belite. Let's get into it. So this little guy down here, I believe to be the Scarlentina Belite. Yep. Beautiful belete mushroom. There he is. So guys, this is the Scarlentina belete. It is an orange, yellow and red mushroom in the Belitus family. And fact number one about it is it's got a couple of dangerous lookalikes. Most notably, this guy, the Satan's belete. So both of these mushrooms are part of the Belite family, Belitus, and both of them have got pores underneath, as you can see here. This one, the Scarlentina Belite that we're talking about today, has got orange pores. It's a bit far gone, but you can just see that there. Whereas the Satan's Belite will either have bright red pores or bright yellow pores, both of which stain blue when you bruise them. So fact number two about the Scarlentina Belite is because obviously it has a dangerous lookalike, we do not call this a safe mushroom for novice foragers. You need to really know what you're looking for when you're out picking this mushroom. But the second fact is it is totally edible and is very, very tasty. Fact number three about this lovely belete here is that not only do the pores bruise blue, but the stipe and the flesh also bruise blue as soon as it oxidizes so i want to show you something pretty cool here when you cut into it it starts off yellow and then as it oxidizes goes a really deep blue I should do this with the stipe as well so we'll cut right into there look it's quite an old one so it's going to go a really dark blue almost black if it was a young one it would go bright blue as i say the devil's belete also does this so please be careful when you're out foraging Fact number four about the Scarlentina Belite is again, even though it's really, really tasty um, and really delicious when you cook it thoroughly, you do need to cook it thoroughly. And some people may have a mild stomach upset when they first have it. So always try a very small piece and always cook it very thoroughly. It should also not be taken with alcohol um, as I believe that the alcohol can actually increase some of the, uh, the stomach upset that a lot of people have. And then, the fifth and final fact about these is more about the identification of them and how you cannot go wrong. So the Satan's Belite and the Lurid's Belite, which are two mushrooms that look very similar and are very much the same part of the family, have reticulation or netting on them. So as I say, they have um, reticulation on the stipe, which is almost like a netting, whereas with the Scarlentina, they actually have little tiny dots which I'll show you up close. Again, this is a very, very old specimen, so it's not gonna show you um, it in true, um, true color, basically, or give it any justice, but I'll stick some photos here of what I'm talking about and some that I've foraged before. So hopefully you can just about see little tiny red splotches and dots on the surface of the stipe, just in here. And then there is a bit of reticulation underneath on the layer underneath. have the same level of reticulation that the other mushrooms do. This is definitely a Scarlentina Belite. Guys, that's the end of the video. If you have liked it at any point, give it a little like below. It really does help support the channel. Please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel as well. And subscribe if you want more fungi facts. Um, drop us a little comment as well if you've liked it at all. Or if you're enjoying the series so far and you saw the other one. Yeah, without further ado, I'll see you again on the next one. Yo, 
entering the planet we were born in 1990s Censoring the damage through the years quite precisely Peppering the cabbage every day with new rhyme schemes Venturing the stranded entirely unlikely